Hey everybody, Mark Dawes here. Now I want to talk to you about the story that goes on inside your head. Even right now you've got a story going on inside your head. And we have two main types of story. We have a story when everything's going good and when things are going our way, we tell ourselves how lucky we are, how great things are. And then when things are not so good, we tell ourselves a different story. We tell ourselves a negative story about how bad things are and you know, and the world's going to end. But these stories are really, really important to you for a number of reasons. And one of the reasons is this. When you tell yourself a story, the words that you use they actually then, your mind goes on a search for meaning to give justification to the story. It's called a cognitive bias, if you like. So if you're telling yourself a bad story, then your mind goes and searches for meaning to make that story real. And the same thing happens when you tell yourself a good story. Now, the difference between successful people and people who are not successful is they don't do negativity. They only do positive reinforcement. Because what else happens in your brain as well is that when you use words and you use them consistently, Physical changes take place in your brain. It's called Hebbian Associative Learning. And the, the neurons in your brain come together and make networks. And the more you tell yourself a story, the more you repeat that story, the stronger those networks become. And the stronger the network become, the more entrenched that story becomes your reality. And the same happens when you use a good story, and the same happens when you use a bad story. The other thing as well is the words you use, they're, they're consistent with the chemicals that the hypothalamus in your brain secretes to your cells. So if you use negative words, you give an instruction to a part of your brain to produce toxins that will go to every cell in your body and toxify them. When you use good positive words, you, you give a message to the hypothalamus to produce nutrients that go to every cell in your body and neutrify them. So it's really important that the story you tell yourself is functional for you, that it's a positive one. Uh, because you need to do this for a number of reasons. Because Right now, people are worried. They're, they're living in fear, living in, you know, they're, they're anxious about the situation we live in. But I'm going to tell you this, and I've said this on video before, control what you can control and what you can't control, don't worry about. Now, that sounds like a brash thing to say, but this will get you through it. We can't control the weather. We can't control what's going on with this virus. Okay? We can't control what we see on the news. But you can control what you choose to think about and what you give meaning to. If you change the story that you tell yourself, you'll change the meaning that your life has, and you'll live a more successful life. That's why it's so important. So, you know, think about it this way. If you had a field, if you had a, a, an amazing field that would grow anything, so you planted wheat, you planted barley, and you got crops of wheat and barley, but if someone fly-tipped a load of rubbish in there, the field would grow rubbish, okay? That's how magical the field is. If you had a field that magical, you'd post sentries around it. You wouldn't want people fly-tipping, so you got a crop of toilets or mattresses or whatever. Right? That's exactly what your mind is like. So you need to place sentries around your mind. You need to stay away from negativity. You need to only focus on the thing that's going to be functional, that's going to give you a positive output. Okay, that mind is the most important thing in your life. To so control what you can control, what you can't control, don't worry about, but tell yourself a story that's positive. Now, I'm not saying go and live in fantasy land, but here's a fact. Successful people consistently reinforce successful thoughts and beliefs about what they're capable of, and that's why they're successful. And when you think about it, we're all born with the same three and a half pounds of stuff between our ears. And some people who are even born with severe disadvantages in life end up being hugely successful. Why? Because they have different beliefs and different values. And those beliefs and values are based upon the story they tell themselves, which has meaning to how much they feel they're worth. So I hope that helps. I can't change what's going on, but hopefully I can encourage you to change the way that you choose to think and therefore choose the meaning that that thinking has in your life. Have a great day. Speak to you soon.